Valentine's Day approaching, one El Paso mom is hoping the community can help lift her daughter's spirits after she was diagnosed with leukemia late last year. ABC 7's Iris Lopez shares how your Valentine's Day cards can help put a smile on a three-year-old's face. We just still don't under, like, know how to make her understand that that's going to happen. It was back in September when Claudia Lerma and Diego Tarin noticed that their energetic three-year-old daughter, Ayana, wasn't being herself. All of a sudden, her energy just went down and she just wanted to sleep all the time. Claudia and Diego took their daughter to the doctor and were told that she had a cold. But days later, her condition worsened. She told me she needed to go to the restroom one day and she tried to get up and she couldn't. And then when she tried to walk, she collapsed and she started crying and she told us, I don't ever want to walk again. Don't make me walk again. After a second trip to the ER, Ayana was diagnosed with leukemia and immediately began the treatment process, which has not been an easy one for her. And right now, I guess her difficulty is with her hair. She wants to know why she doesn't have long hair as other little girls. After noticing that her daughter's self-esteem was going down, Claudia decided to create a Facebook post to ask the community to send Ayana Valentine cards in hopes of it raising her spirits during treatments. When she started receiving in the hospital cards, that really brought her up. She was really excited. And there was people that she didn't even know that were sending her balloons. Ayana has received special cards and gifts from strangers in Las Vegas and California. And the special gesture has helped Ayana keep her mind off of treatments. We started seeing that she started like improving and her self-esteem where she even started walking again. Claudia and Diego are thankful for the gifts their daughter has received because it's not only lifted her spirits up, but theirs as well. It's been a big help that the community is helping us out. It's already a, a difficult situation trying to, your child has a community. And then this pandemic, it's like, it just made it even more harder to deal with it. Iris Lopez. ABC 7. And Ayana's parents have provided us with an address where you can send any special Valentine's gifts. You can find that address by clicking on this story at kvia.com.